Hello, I am Rudaiva. I am going to present our paper which is Citadel, an automated abuse detection system to detect and prevent abusive behaviors over emails. Here is a brief overview of our presentation. First, we will see the discuss, uh, background, then problem description, then research method. Then we will see the implementation phases of Citadel and evaluation phases. Then we will discuss the conclusion and future work. Online abusive behaviors can be of different forms like um, harassment, threat, etc. Existing features like blocking and reporting allow users to defend themselves but it does not offer them to prevent abusive behaviors. In a previous study, cross mode was in proposed which is an automated abuse detection system for Reddit which assists human moderators but there is a gap between uh, the perception of abuse um, among human moderators and uh, victims uh, because of social context and language barriers. Again, Scott was, was proposed in a previous study which gives the trusted contacts the authority to read and uh, delete the incoming, incoming emails but uh, however, it can create risk, risk of secondary trauma. Also, emailing platforms are time sensitive. Therefore, it can cause time delays. Therefore, uh, in our study, the motivation of our study is uh, existing features do not allow users to prevent abusive behavior. Also, there is gaps between among in, the, in the perception of abuse between human moderators and victims. And from our previous study, uh, users raised several privacy concerns and felt less control with existing abuse detection system. Uh, therefore, these findings have inspired us to explore um, an automated abuse detection system for emails. Uh, we uh, explored the following research questions uh, for in this study. Uh, we uh, find out how users interact with an automated average detection system for emailing platforms. Also, we find out the advantages and concerns pertinent to an automated average detection system for emailing platform as per, as per the experience of the users. In this study, uh, we contribute by implementing an automated average detection system for emails, which is a novel system, and by integrating the features that we uh, discover from our user studies also um, uh, we accommodated the expectations of email users um, again we um, perform our rigorous evaluation phase which uh, helped us to analyze user appreciation for a, an automated average detection system we also make design recommendation to improve user experience Here we can see the research method that we followed in this study. We implemented Citadel and then we evaluated Citadel through demonstration and then we integrated new features that we found and that we found or discovered from the evaluation phase and then we again evaluated our motive modified uh, the system. Uh, but through a field study and a video demonstration survey we uh, follow an iterative approach to implement Citadel. From our previous study, we have identified two uh, of expected features, which is a notification window, which uh, helps to de to see or view the detection of abusive emails. Then uh, we have also integrated. A f uh, we have also found a feature which is contacting trusted people. Here, users can contact friends and relatives if they feel they feel insecure while coming across with abusive behavior then uh, here we can see the implementation of the fast design of citadel in figure a we can see the diagram of the system flow, system flow and in figure b we can see the notification window of the fast design the user interface the incoming emails the fast go to the deep learning based prediction system and the safe emails go to the inbox and the abusive emails get filtered out uh, and which is shown in the notification window to the user and users after uh, seeing the toxicity ratings uh, here which you can see in the user interface you can ask for help by contacting trusting trusted people to implement the uh, 
system we have uh, built a deep learning based system uh, where uh, we have used uh, where uh, we have used um, convolutional module lstm module and feed fully connected feed forward layers we have used the data set of a competition in Kegel, on Kegel and also it can detect six types of indicated toxicity and it has achieved 98.4% accuracy. Here we can see the architecture of our complete model. To evaluate the fast design of Citadel, we have demonstrated uh, the uh, our system to 39 participants. Uh, through a 20 to 40 minute in person session then they were given a questionnaire to give their feedback um, and we have uh, found uh, find we have found out uh, the uh, they are desired for two features uh, which is the blocking option and fine tuning over automated identification of aversive emails now we will see the features uh, new features for the second design of citadel uh, we have found from the evaluation of the fast design of Citadel that user consider a content is abusive or not based on relationship. Uh, according to one participant, if um, if some words are uh, offensive to him uh, when uh, said by the strangers, when said by an any when said by any stranger, uh, but it they can um, also be not offensive to them if those words were said by his friends or relatives therefore we have come across um, two features which is threshold parse center and block contact uh, in the threshold parse center feature user can specify the system if the detection of abusive emails is agreeable to them or not here we can see the system flow of the second design and the user interface we can see that the, the new two features uh, which is block contact and give feedback about the accuracy of the detection user can select inaccurate or accurate if the user cho chooses the prediction is not right then the system will automatically increase the threshold of the is of the specified sender the system shows the abusive email in the notification window of the user if the detection toxicity score exceeds the sender's threshold otherwise it does not Therefore, user can specify the system if the detection of abusive emails is agreeable to them or not. Then we evaluate the second design of Citadel by performing a 3D field study and a video demonstration survey. For the field study, we provide 21 participants um, detailed documentation about how to use the system which is a Chrome extension. We also um, monitor their usage pattern by server side logs. After the field study, after they use, after our user used the system for three days, uh, we have gi we give them a questionnaire with seven categorized groups with legal scale questions. Then um, five participants were randomly selected for a short interview over Zoom meetings to give their feedback about uh, the system. And then um, again, we performed a video demonstration survey where we conducted online survey with 63 participants by demonstrating the video of the workflow of the system and then uh, we also get, uh, ha give them a questionnaire uh, with six categorized groups of decadiscal questions here you can see the result of the evaluation of the second design of citadel um, we have found that user um, replied positively about the efficacy and efficiency of citadel in the field study again um, through the six categorized groups um, user also replied positively in the six categorized groups uh, where you can see that user uh, replied positively in both the field study and video demonstration survey about their desire for an automated average detection system satisfaction ease of use ease of learning here um, uh, we uh, see the conclusion and future work we have found that users appreciated the idea of an automated average detection system for emails also user appreciated to have more control how abusive emails are brought to their attention also how they can ask for help when they face such abusive emails also the design implementation was guided by user preferences which is novel also um, in the future uh, we want to add a specific words that users find abusive in a customizable list also we want to show toxicity ratings to the users instead of showing the whole abusive email 
the whole content of the abusive email also um, uh, we want to explore abuse detection system in other platforms thank you questions are welcome